glucose! It's actually very important to your body. No, it's not related to this or this. It's actually related to diabetes. Many people don't even realize how important glucose is to the body. So let me explain. Glucose is basically a sugar made up of carbon-6, hydrogen-12, and oxygen-6. When glucose circulates around the body, it is known as blood sugar. It is important to keep your blood sugar level at a certain area, neither too high nor too low. But why is this? Well, your body is like a phone or an electronic device. It needs to charge up every now and then with food. Think of glucose as your energy source. It comes from many different foods, such as carbohydrates. Blood sugar is a necessity to life. Even other animals and plants need glucose. In fact, glucose is on the World Health Organization's list of essential medicines. There are certain high and low ranges that blood sugar cannot be in, otherwise it gets unhealthy for the body. A blood sugar level that is too low is known as hypoglycemia. Hypoglycemia results in a variety of symptoms. Usually these can include seizures, loss of consciousness, clumsiness, or just overall confusion. Sometimes it can be serious enough to cause death. Oftentimes, hypoglycemia is caused by use of medications in order to treat diabetes, such as insulin, but we'll get to that later. If the body cannot control hypoglycemia, the easiest way to get rid of it is to eat high energy foods or to inject a dose of glucagon. Hyperglycemia is probably what you would expect, the opposite of hypoglycemia. High blood sugar. Hyperglycemia isn't generally noticed at first, but if it increases over time and if it's left untreated, it can lead to a variety of complications. This can include things as serious as kidney damage, neurological damage, retina damage, and cardiovascular damage. Oftentimes, hyperglycemia can be caused by diabetes itself, in which case, it needs to be treated with something like insulin. It can also be caused by stress, dysfunction of the thyroid or pituitary glands, and numerous kinds of diseases. Now, all of the examples of treatment that I just talked about only occur in extreme cases. Usually, the body can take care of itself. It has special hormones that cause homeostasis and can keep the blood sugar levels right in the perfect spot. We can therefore think of glucose in the sense of an equilibrium equation. Following Le Chatelier's principle, if one side of the equation becomes more pressured the position of equilibrium will move to the other side. I'll talk more about this in a bit. There are actually many, many, numerous different types of hormones that can affect the glucose levels, but we're going to talk about two main ones for now. The first of these hormones is glucagon. If the blood glucose level lowers very drastically, the alpha cells of the pancreas will release this hormone. This hormone will help create more glucose, and then it will be released into the bloodstream and increase blood sugar. So since a small amount of glucose was being received, more glucagon was being utilized to create new equilibrium. If you are a diabetic, you might have heard of this next one. This next one is insulin, which is used to calm the blood sugar levels. The way glucagon works is that it converts glycogen into glucose. Insulin works the other way around, converting glucose into glycogen. It also forces body cells to take up glucose from the blood. So this time, the opposite happens. Since there's more glucose, and since the concentration is higher, the equilibrium position shifts, and the body reacts in a way so that there can be less glucose. Without these hormones in place, us humans might even be dead. It's very important to keep blood sugar levels in check, 
I hope from watching this video that you realize the equilibrium used to maintain blood sugar levels and the importance of keeping it neutral. Thanks for watching!